Have you ever had a belt tensioner fail right after installation? It might not be the part, it could be the process. Hi, I'm Cody Smith here in the Cloys Tech Lab with another Cloys Tech Bite. Let's talk about how to properly handle a hydraulic belt tensioner. First, take it slow. When releasing or applying tension, always do it gradually. Quick movements can damage the tensioner's internal components. That's because it uses hydraulic fluid and a tiny orifice to control pressure. Forcing it too fast can cause internal failure. Also, never cut the belt off the drive system. That sudden release of tension can damage the tensioner and even nearby components. One more thing, don't take the tensioner apart. The fluid inside is under pressure. Disassembly can be dangerous and opening the fluid chamber will let air in, which will cause the tensioner to perform erratically. Follow the correct process and your new tensioner will perform the way it should. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us for the next Tech Bite and share it with a tech who needs to hear it.